Well, sticking in the giving mood right now, the Salvation Army is giving out toys to the families who signed up for the Angel Tree program. This year, pickup is looking different, but the smiles are still there. CBS 17's Randy Ayala joins us live from Raleigh. And Randy, we know families, they've been picking up gifts since 8.30 this morning. Yeah, Liz, so we are in the AutoZone parking lot off of Fayetteville Road. This year, though, it's drive through style, so volunteers are loading up trunks. We had a long line. It looks like we got some more folks coming in. It's been quite busy here, but we know today uh, more than 1,200 families will get to put gifts underneath the tree. Trunks full of presents and Christmas cheer. The Salvation Army of Wake County is distributing thousands of toys to kids in need. Typically, we do about 2,500 families, but we did a couple hundred more this year because the need was so great. Major Al Newsom says out of those families, about 7,700 children signed up to receive toys and clothing after weeks of donations coming in. Now the families get to pick up goodies for their kids. They are very well organized. This is Elbia Hernandez. She's one of the thousands of parents who needed extra help this year after losing her job during the pandemic. A lot of people lost their jobs. Yeah, yeah. I stopped working because I have to be with my kids, virtual school. Even though these last nine months have been tough for Hernandez, her family, and so many others, moments like this reminds us all of the magic of Christmas. I really appreciate it. And I thank God that they do this. And my kids, I know they will appreciate it too. They will be happy. So I just want to give you all at home a different look here. Here we are inside the building. Look how many bikes, there's toys, there's clothes all over. Just to show you how many kids are going to be getting gifts this year. And the Salvation Army is really stressing here that the community really stepped up to help out at a time of need. Now, drive through pickup will continue through Thursday. In Raleigh, Randy Ayala, CBS 17 News.